artisterne. Um, love me, love me. It's about uh, a love. Uh, it's about uh, positive energy, and uh, it's it's kind of a love song. So. <laughs> So, Love Me, Love Me, it was a bit ethnic inspired um, and not very Danish, some would say. Uh, why is that? Um, I really want to come with something new to the program and it, um, the ethnic, uh, the ethnic uh, music has been a part of, uh, of dance music country before and I think it, it would open up more doors in the future to, to, so that different kind of music would be represented you know, in the show and I think that's a, a positive thing that uh, it, it doesn't matter where you come from or where you're born uh, it's just it's a matter of music, you know, and there is a lot of creative people uh, from different backgrounds in Denmark, and, and give them, giving them the opportunity would be yeah. interesting. You know? And already you are one of the favorites uh, around Europe. Um, yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm like, I get, I'm a bit nervous about it actually, but I'm, uh, I, I really, I really feel blessed, and uh, this is my heart. So the music is my heart. So I'm really taking it all in and just looking forward to to people seeing my show. And uh, what kind of a show will we see in Olbo? It's a Bollywood inspired show. There will be a lot of dancing, and it'll be a big surprise in the show as well that I can't reveal. Tina and Anil, yeah. Mi Amore, yeah. what is uh, this song about? It's about uh, love and forgiveness. Uh, and yeah. It's about finding the one that you really love and, and telling them. Yeah. And how did you two find each other? Well, it was through, uh, through Eurovision. Yeah. I sent a song in to Denmark's radio and they really liked my voice. So I was in the studio and uh, I sang Mi Amor and they loved it. And then after we found Rene. Good match. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <Thank> you. <laughs> um, what can we expect from you on stage? Well, we, you can expect uh, two artists who are giving the best they got for this show in three minutes. Um, and a big celebration. A big celebration. Yes. Hello there. We are Brazil and Solomon Group. Hey! Where's it going? Is it? No, my cruise is like an antique scheme. Down here in the sky and to Cassie. It's a shame, sad, you look at any. For do my indie do, can say the men who are anything at the end. Hey, hey, hey. And here we have Cecilia Alexandra. Hello. And uh, you will participate with uh, Hotel A? Yes, with Hotel A. Can you describe your song? Well, my song is about the first love and about a girl who loves um, to make other people happy. So I can't wait to perform. <laughs> and uh, what can we expect from your show in Olbo? Oh, it's a little bit of a secret, but I can tell that there's a lot of red colors and golden colors and... Um, yeah, then the, um, the love, the, uh, the city of love is with, so mm -hmm. we can't tell it. 
and uh, hey everybody, you are ready to perform your song, and you have it on a t your T-shirt. Love is love. I came prepared, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> love is love. And uh, what is your song about? My love is about the most important thing in life, I believe, which is love. At the end of the day, that is what we're all created from. That is what we all are uh, seeking for. And um, I, I'm using this platform. I was given this opportunity, this beautiful, blessed opportunity, three minutes to sing about something that, uh, that I believe is the most important thing to sing about. And the power of being a singer or songwriter to spread this message is such a blessing. Uh, so I, I'm very proud and very, very honored to be able to spread this message of love. And this is not your first time on a Eurovision stage. It's actually my, I've been, I've been part of it for the past three, I think three years. Yeah. I was singing back up the other, the other years. Mm -hmm. And last year I was part of, uh, I was singing back up on six songs. And one of the six songs uh, ended up being Bassin, so I uh, ended up being a part of the international or the Eurovision Song Contest. So as well. you've been on the stage on Eurovision Island in Copenhagen last year. Yeah. So Melodi Grand Prix in Denmark, that's not not a big deal. It is a big Maybe. deal. It's, it's a big, it's a very big deal because I'm here to um, I'm I'm like on on my home stage, and uh, to have this opportunity to to uh, to showcase my passion uh, among my peers and my family and friends where I grew up, where I was born and raised, uh, is something that I take huge pride in. So it's not a, it's, it's, it's a big deal as well, absolutely. So, love is love! Yeah! Love, um, the feeling of being so in love that everything, everything else doesn't matter. And um, why did you uh, decide to participate in in Melody Grand Prix? Well, I've, I've always seen it uh, since I was a little girl. I'm only 16, so it's not yeah. many years, but I've always seen it and always wanted to be first in the in the child's MVP and and now this. So, mm -hmm. so just to have this amazing experience. Mm -hmm. It's just, I can't even describe it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and um, in 2013, you won a mentor, uh, a program uh, in Denmark. Uh, has that helped you uh, to do performances uh, now in the, in the Eurovision? Well, I think the rush behind a TV program uh, is hard to imagine. Mm. And I think now that I've tried it before, it's going to be... But it's gonna be good for me mm. that I know, like, I know the line, I know how it's done. So, uh, are you looking forward to be standing on stage? It's still a little surreal. I don't know how yeah. to react because I'm, no. I'm, I'm really, really nervous. But I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's gonna be, right. it's gonna be a party that everyone can be a part of. Mm. Come on. So um, I have to ask you first, uh, why this name anti-social media? Good question. Well, it's not a political name or stuff like that, but, but it's, we were in, all in the room together trying to figure out a name for uh, our band. And then we said like, <laughs> hmm, what should it be? Yeah, we were all like... And then one said, oh, social media, we all on the, we all on the phone now. And then David said... Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> it was like the most unsocial thing to do together. Or anti, uh, yeah, anti social anti thing to do together just to uh, <laughs> look at our phones and uh, being on Facebook and yeah. all that stuff. So we just saw anti social media. What about anti social media? And then it works like everyone is, is asking yeah. us why mm. are you 
Yeah. Or band, li band names like that. Yeah. That means it works. It yeah. works. It works pretty well. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Branding. So, uh, The Way You Are, yeah. which we just heard. Uh, what is this song about? It's just a really happy song about uh, a girl. Well, just a uh, oh, beautiful, yeah, cheerful. cheerful, really cheerful song. You, you, you just get happy just from listening to it. And, uh, I think that's a good thing uh, about this song. Uh, you get happy when you hear it. Anna Gallagher, Suitcase. Yeah. What is uh, your song about? It's about uh, dreaming and, uh, and actually do it. Actually do what you're dreaming about. Yeah. Grab your suitcase. Yeah, exactly. And go do it. Yeah. yeah. And um, some years ago, mm. you uh, sang Arabian Swam yeah. in Junior Eurovision. Yeah. And now Arabian you're... Dream. <laughs> Arabian Dream, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Um, and now you're back in the grown-up competition. Mm. Um, does the experience from Junior Eurovision, yeah. has that helped you uh, doing what you do now? Yeah, it has, it has helped me um, because uh, many people know me, knows me and I have a blog, so... Um, the the people who saw me then is uh, reading my blog and is following me and so so yeah it has helped me yeah and your song um, is uh, this time it's not like a uh, Arabian dream no no no, no it's not <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, would what would you describe it uh, as with a few words uh, the, the music style it's a cute pop song yeah I would I would describe it that way yeah, yeah. cute pop song Mañana, which means tomorrow in Spanish, which is like an expression that that tells uh, those who listen to the song that it's like you don't have to. Um, I don't know how to express it. Um, it's like it's like if you don't make it today, you'll make it tomorrow. So yeah, yeah. It's like seize the day. That was what seize I was the day. Seize yeah, the day. that's good. Exactly. So um. What can we expect from uh, your performance in, in Aalborg? You can expect that it will be party on. It's uh, it's like the tempo is really high, and you know I have a lot of expectations, and I think my vocal has been better mm -hmm. lately. I've been practicing a lot, so they can expect me to be on my A game, basically. Well, we can expect a big party from you uh, in yes. Aalborg. Yes, exactly. Not manana, but. Not next Saturday. Next Saturday. That's right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I hope most of you watching this are too. <laughs> World of girls, summer without you, and this is winter. <laughs> yeah. Um, how would you describe this song? This song is a very energetic song. It's a pop song and it's like a party song, I think. Although it's it's a bit, um, you know, you miss the, your loved ones and and you want to party with them also, but they're not there. But it is a it's a pretty really good song. And. Um, what, what is this summer without you? What is it like? <laughs> summer without you takes you back to memories and, and parties, friends, love, all those type of things. But then you miss that one person that's not right there at the moment. And you're happy, you're partying, but you're thinking about the summer love, maybe yeah. last year. <laughs> and um, can we expect a, a girl power show from you? Definitely. A lot of girl power. Yeah. yeah. We got a really good um, choreography and a really good uh, show, and we're very excited mm -hmm. about showing. I'm sure the whole of Europe is looking forward to see you on stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, 